Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, magdi-discuss lang tayo ng isa pang random math problem. So basically, this is an application dun sa hyperbola natin. Pero ang gagamitin lang natin dito ang approach algebra. So baka may encounter nyo tong problem na to sa mga pre-calculus, sa analytic geometry, o kaya sa in, uh, mga board exams na possible questions. So discuss na lang ni Sir IJ. Pero before that mga lods, shoutout muna kay Reinhardt Angelo Villaruel kay Ariel Rubio, tsaka kay Doneri Parkon. Thank you so much mga lod sa patuloy na pag-support and more power sa inyo and sa mga career nyo and ano. I hope you all the best mga lods. Keep safe na lang, especially pandemic ngayon. Ayan, so ito yung problem natin mga lods. For what value or values of k will the line y is equal to x plus k be tangent to the hyperbola? x squared minus 4y squared is equal to 48. So ang pinaka best way dito mga lods is try to observe the equations first. So, nakita natin na yung line daw na to, tangent dito sa hyperbola na to. So, kung wala kang magawa, I mean, wala kang or clueless ka for the problem. So, what you can do is, oy, yung y may value in terms of x and k. Tapos, meron tayong isang equation. So, first key step here is substitute natin itong mga loads. Yung y dito sa equation ng hyperbola. So, yung y is x plus k. So, we have x squared minus 4 multiplied by x plus k. Quantity squared is equal to 48, mga lods. Okay? So, yan. Nilagay lang natin ito dito, mga lods. ba? Diba? O, ano next dyan, Sir IJ? E di simplify natin yan. So, ito yung pinaka-equation natin, mga lods. ba? Diba? So, simplify natin yan. So, magiging, baka nalito po, yung y, pinalitan lang po natin ng x plus k. So, we have x squared minus 4 multiplied by. So, simplify natin yung square ng binomial. x squared plus 2xk plus k squared is equal to 48. So, nang gagawin natin dyan, Sir IJ? So, as much as possible, we have to simplify everything. Combine like terms and then convert natin sa standard form or standard equation of a quadratic equation. Mga lods. So, anong gagawin dyan, Sir IJ? So, we have x squared minus 4x squared distributive property of multiplication over addition minus 8xk Uh, minus 4k squared is equal to 48. So, ang gagawin natin, combine natin to x squared tsaka negative 4x squared. So, we have negative 3x squared minus 8xk equals 48. So, lipat natin sa kabila, mga lods. So, we have 3x squared plus 8xk plus 48 is equal to 0. So, tama ba yung pag- Compute ni Sir IG, negative 3x squared, okay. Tapos negative 8xk minus 4k squared. Okay, so ang nawala, ay wait lang, sorry. Nawala yung negative 4k squared natin mga lods, sorry. So ito, may minus 4k squared pa pala tayo mga lods. Pasensya na, equals 48. So what will happen is lilipat lang natin siya. So magiging plus 4k squared plus 48 equals 0. So ulitin natin, lilipat lang po ni Sir IG dito. Ito, nilipat lang din natin dito. Ito, nilipat lang din natin dito. In which, ito, naging quadratic equation na. Quadratic equation, which is in the form a equals 3. Yung a natin, yung coefficient na x squared. Yung b natin ay yung 8k. Ito yan, yung coefficient ng linear term. Tapos, our constant will be 4k squared plus 48. Ayan. Ang tanong, kapag sa isang quadratic equation, Sir Raji, kailan ba nagiging tangent yon? So, ang concept ng tangent, mga Lodi, it will be related to the discriminant. So, ang discriminant kasi, naalala natin na ang formula ng discriminant sa isang quadratic equation is b squared minus 4ac. So, kapag ang b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, that is the time na magiging tangent siya. Ibig sabihin, magiging, ano siya, magiging tawag mo dito, it will only pass the x-axis once. Parang ganun siya mga Lodi. So, ang concept of tangency dito is that the discriminant should be equal to zero para maging tangent siya mga Lods. ba? Diba? So, yan po yung concept dyan. So, paano natin gagawin yan, Sir IJ? E di substitute natin from this formula. So, ang B natin is 8K quantity squared minus 4AC ang A natin is 3 ang C natin ay 4K squared plus 48. Equal 0. Kasi nga dapat, di ba, equal 0 kapag tangent, discriminant. Tandaan natin mga lods, napaka-simpleng algebraic solution lang to. So, we have 64k squared minus 12 multiplied by 4k squared plus 48 is equal to 0. 
Simplify natin. 64k squared minus 12 times 4 mga lods, that's 48k squared. 12 times 48, that is 576. Negative. Distributive equals 0. Simplify natin. 16k squared is equal to 576. Divide both sides by 16. So, we have k squared is equal to 36. Kasi 576 over 16, that's 36. Since k squared siya, meron tayong dalawang root. Therefore, the final answer will be plus or minus 6. So, that will be the value of k such that the given line is tangent to the hyperbola. So, just in case you have questions or concerns, don't hesitate to comment on the comment section, mga lods. And thank you so much sa mga subscribers natin na patuloy na sumusuport sa channel natin sa mga match tutorial ni Sir IJ and yun nga mga lods. Uh, Mag-iingat kayo palagi and I hope you all the best. See you in my next match tutorial videos and bye for now. Bye-bye!